All right, I'm here with Jake Ledbetter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to use this box, uh, some reference points for drills, okay? So the first drill is, number one, let's show them where this actual seam line's at, and let's turn this way. So when I put this on, this actual line's gonna be right in the middle of the seam line, which is right about there. So this seam line is right there, okay? Now make sure your shirt's on straight. Sometimes Jake doesn't have a shirt on straight, okay? So now let's face the actual camera, and let's show them you taking it all the way top, right about there is good. Okay, so you can see this line's back. He's got a huge turn. I love that. Okay, now you can also see that his arm is not behind that seam line there. It's out in front. We're gonna demonstrate on the other side when we turn around. So let's turn around that way. So get it all the way back. So you can see that on this, this is back. This is almost back to the middle of his body here, okay? And you can notice his elbows in front of the seam line. I see a lot of players getting the arm behind the seam line as they start to open up, it gets stuck there, okay? Or it's on top of it. So now, let's turn this way, Jake. So down the line so they can see it down the line, good. Now, what we're looking for now is that happens, make sure that you're not just going to the top, turning it back all the way back and keeping the arm pinched here okay and then get it in front of seam line now you're too far out in front either your hand pass out and you could be like in this position and start to tilt later or you're just going to come right across the ball okay so make sure as you do it let's turn that thing all the way back again jakey good so in this position here as he starts to come down that thing's already in front of him here, okay? From there, it's a perfect position. So a drill we do is the first one, let's get those all the way back. And what I'll do, just so he can see, on his side, I put this out in front here, and let's move the ball a little bit more forward. And I'll move this thing out behind you so it can move back a little. You okay with that? You can move back on the mat a little bit. So as we do it, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and take a freezer and now he can see this lines here, okay? And the arm is in front of seam line. Absolutely. So now, go ahead and rip one. Freeze up top, hit it. Good, beautiful shot, okay? So that was terrific. So now, that's one drill. We do freezers all the time so we know that we finish the turn, okay? That's number one. All right, so let's do another drill. Let's do an impact drill, okay? So when we do impact drills, go ahead and set up. Stand straight up and down. I'll show how that we do it. Stand straight up and down. So we turn, I try and get the hips roughly around 45, chest 30. That's if you've turned, okay? If you haven't turned, go to halfway back, halfway back, and you don't turn, you're gonna have a lot of tilt. Your shoulders are most likely gonna be very square, okay? But if you've turned back, you can stand up. Let's do impact. Stand up, turn over here 45, 30, and get some hip depth and right bend. So his right bend's gonna be over this direction, not the target. Now he'll just do a little half shot, a little pitch shot. Good. There's an impact drill. His arms got back in front, very solid contact. Good job, Jake. Okay, so now we're gonna do another impact drill. Set up. So what I do here is, I'm gonna put the stick in real quick, Jake, right about here. Show me impact. So I make sure that he's in that position and at impact, he's already hitting this, okay? Take an impact, little pitch shot again, show it impact. Good, so he's trying to hit that stick before impact, okay? At the same time, do it impact though. Show me impact, this is impact drill. So he's touching it, let me make sure it's on. I'll make sure, set up again. I'll move it to him. So what I do is, you good right there? So that's touching right there. So he's gonna just try and move this stick back now. Go ahead, turn back a little bit. Good, so he hit that stick before the club hit the ball, okay? So that's another one. Now, let's talk about trail arm here, okay? Let's get this thing external. Let's show them a drill where we go external. So that's external. So let's demonstrate that again, right arm only, because you did it perfect. So this, I have them go up, I have them go around, and you can see clearly the face is wide open, okay? So now we're not gonna do anything. How could we get the face more square is getting this arm back here. Now you're hitting the box, yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. Now the face is square, but we don't wanna do that. We wanna get it external. Now what he's gonna do is see that, see that face is open, he's gonna bring the left hand in, and he's gonna flex that down. Now that face is now square to his back line. Don't pull it down right yet. There you go, good. Now he doesn't have to compensate here. The arms are in front, he just pivots through it. So now let's do that external drill, little hopper. Boom, he presets it square. Good, do it again, little hopper. One more, good. Good, now that's solid, that's beautiful, nice shot. Now grab one more, I'm gonna show him what not to do. Okay, do external. Same thing we just did. Good. Now, if he takes it back and he doesn't turn and then he starts to open up, he's gonna hit there, okay? Or he's gonna shank it. Keep it in front, external. 
and now keep it in front. Yeah, you'd shank it, okay? So you still gotta get the boxes back when you do this yeah, drill. Shank. You'd shank it, okay? Or you'd stand up and compensate, okay? So now that we understand those, let's just show them the structure one more time from the start. If we go up to the top, as long as we turn this thing back, we don't wanna pinch again, because you'd be too far out and then you'd have to tilt or you just come across it. Now go up top again. So we've got this arm in a good position right there. I'll hold you, Jake. Now, this form is parallel to the back line. This is pretty parallel to the ground. This left arm's on shoulder line. Face is pretty square to the form to close. So it's closed to there, and then we get it back in front, down the line, then he kicks back up, okay? So that's another one. So those are all the drills we really use it for. And I'd say the biggest one is trying to make sure we turn back and how easy is it to get in front of there? Oh, so much easier. So much easier. Now show him some front bend here. If you turn back, we want to understand that you said you used to avoid it and he'd make it harder. Now be careful with this, okay? I wouldn't recommend this. Get it too far in front of seam line. Now, this is for someone who actually does what? They suck their butt in too much early, right? Yeah. And then they suck it in like this and their arms have to go behind, okay? Yeah, yeah. So what Jake said is he likes to actually go more into front bend. So go up top and just demonstrate first, don't hit. Go into front. So see he's more in the front bend. What I mean by front bend, he's creating more room here. So if this thing's way up here, he's creating space. Rather than trying to get this thing out and over it and shank it, he's creating more space. Now if you do that without a turn, you're just gonna shank it or you're gonna come across it. So if you turn back, turn back one more time, Jakey, and you can demonstrate. Yeah. So when you see this too, when I take the top and I go into that crazy front bend, I'm almost hitting this box on my leg. Right? That's and brilliant. That's, that's getting you into that really like front bend position like Matt Wolf and Cameron Chan. And, and a lot of great players that great smash players, the ball, right. okay? So go up top and freeze one more time. Good, now hit. Beautiful, okay? So those are some drills, some real basic drills. You can use it. Uh, if you feel, good, if you feel like that you wanna use it without understanding it, you can get yourself in trouble. So make sure you understand some guidelines before you just put that thing on and think, think it works for you, okay? Good luck.